Uh, we're going to be joined by uh, JB Harris, who is here to share her debut novel, uh, Drifting Into the Light. Really, really, really eager to listen to more about that. On, uh, it's all about how people will be surviving to, uh, through the pandemic and how it has actually helped change their lives. Uh, before we do that, uh, actually, I think she's on the phone right now. Assalamu alaikum, JB Harris. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam, everyone. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you and welcome to Living a Life. Uh, how does it feel to be on the show? Uh, it feels good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do watch the channel regularly, oh, so that's nice. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I'm so glad you do. It's, uh, it's been a while for myself. I've um, recently come back. I'm really excited to carry on the show. And I've read a little bit about yourself, um, Mrs. It is Mrs. Harris. Is that that's right, yeah? Uh, you can call me Jasmine. That's fine. Yeah. Jasmine. Okay. I've written the book under a pen name, so happy for you to call me Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, this book, um, please tell us a little bit about the background to the book. Okay, so the, um, the book is a memoir of my late uncle, and uh, it was a certain turn of events that happened um, during the first lockdown. And uh, when obviously the incident happened and um, I was thinking about how we were going to basically move forward as a family, I, I had the idea of putting the memoir together. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of snapshots and captions in there about the pandemic and how that affected us as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think because of the time of year and the fact that a lot of people are suffering and, and you know, having to deal with the pressures of the pandemic in their day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. I felt that reading the book would give them that comfort and understanding that we're all in it together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that was initially how um, the project started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got in touch with the uh, with a publishing house in America, and uh, they were very interested to hear about the plot and, and how the story was going to unfold. And I managed to get the book done by early summer, and uh, it went live on the market at the end of September. Oh, wow. Wow, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> um, that's amazing. I, and obviously, um, to, to understand the background to how it actually all came about, um, with these kind of circumstances, uh, it's a bit unfortunate. However, you've come out the other side and come out with something which will help inspire people in the right way. Yes, correct. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, when when the book went live, I had a small group of friends, acquaintances and relatives that started reading and uh, the feedback has been amazing. Um, and I think a lot of people have taken away certain learning and things that they want to have a think about in their own lives. And it was just really nice to get similar feedback from a group of people that don't know one another. Mm -hmm. So hence why I'm very positive to see this go to a more global platform and, you know, where the book will go thereafter, inshallah. So we'll see. Indeed, indeed. Um, I, was, I was actually going to go on to that part, um, talking about the feedback uh, from people um, after reading your book, um, how did you deal with the, uh, the actual emotional impact uh, from the book itself? Uh, obviously, there's a great messages in there, but how did you deal with that? Um, I think writing helped. Mm -hmm. um, so initially, you know, just trying to put pen to paper and recollecting my thoughts. Um, anytime I was writing about something, I just kind of tried to see the positive in it and, and the lessons and learning from what actually happened at the time. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the reasons why I was pushed even further to get the book done, because I work full time. When I started the project, I didn't really think I was going to finish it in a couple of weeks or months. I thought it was probably going to take about a year or a year and a half. Mm, that's pretty quick. But, wow. uh, you know, just getting really driven. I mean, I wrote most of it during Ramadan. Mm -hmm. um, that was quite inspirational. It was a nice time to be with the family and reflect and obviously have that moment to put pen to paper. Yeah. And uh, when the final product was done, even the publishing team, they were surprised. They thought, oh, we thought we weren't going to hear from you till end of the year, but this is amazing. So mm -hmm. I think, yes, there was definitely an emotional factor. But any time that I, you know, looked at a chapter or something that I wanted to put together, it brought some kind of solace and positivity out of it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and then when I looked at the final product, I thought, yeah, all of this makes sense. There's a beginning and an end and a lesson and something that someone can take away. So I think, you know, getting the book to where it was and marketing it in the way that I'm doing, I think is really going to benefit readers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I mean, with yourself, actually, the writer of the book, 
Um, has it given you a sense of calm uh, during these difficult times? Um, yeah, definitely. I think especially when I've started getting feedback from the readers, it's just really nice to hear from people that have endured something similar or are dealing with a challenge and they haven't really known how to overcome it. So mm -hmm. when people were, be able, were able to refer to certain characters in the book and said, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean because something similar happened to me or this is how I think I should have dealt with it. So that has definitely given me, uh, you know, a sense of calm that, you know, words are kind of getting to other people and helping them, which was kind of the concept of putting the book together in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, would you be able to kind of more or less specifically um, draw out what kind of lessons uh, people were taking out from reading your book? Um, the lessons mainly in this book are more about being patient and, and, and you know, proving your determination if, mm -hmm. if you want to do something and, and you want to make it happen and you're trying to achieve a goal don't let anyone judge you or doubt that you can't do it um, I, like I think thinking. the memoir talks about all of that in certain characters in the book as well mm -hmm. and I think the reason why um, the lockdown element is very important in the book is because whatever happened as a family we were able to overcome the obstacle even though we were you know miles away from one another and we had to deal with the tragedy so i think yeah definitely one of the lessons learned is determination mm -hmm. i think another lesson we need to draw from it is patience mm -hmm. and and you know having that faith and believing in yourself and knowing that you know you you can achieve anything it's just how you plan and how you want to do it and that no one should really judge you about yes. the decisions that you make. So, uh, yeah, those would be the major lessons and from, the, from the turning point of the book, I'd say. Absolutely. Um, I'm right there with you in terms of the determination part and, um, you know, just if you believe in something, you just, you just go for it, regardless of the circumstances and maybe perhaps the, the naysayers or people might want to deter you from your goal, just, just keep going at it. I, I really I can resonate with that. That's such a powerful message. Um, would you say, I mean, you're, you're a mother of two, I take it, is, is, where did you find the time to actually put this together? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I did it, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, I work full time, I have a family. Uh, I think it was just because, th that's the thing, I mean, my lesson learned from this story was determination, and if you want something, get it done, and that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to write a book. This was something that I had always spoken about in my younger years, and the time just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And the irony of it now was that the part, point in my life when I'm probably super busy, <laughs> I've actually found the time to do it. So I yeah. think, yeah, that definitely resonates with the message in the book as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it does. And uh, like I say, if you, if you really want to do something, regardless of the circumstances, it will get done. It will definitely get done. And this book is uh, it was out of uh, September, I believe you said. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it went live at the end of September, so mm -hmm. it's available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and on the publisher's website, which is AuthorHouse.com. So it is available on the market. Mm -hmm. um, um, it will be. Uh, uh, it will be collaborated <clears throat> into an audio book by the end of the year. Oh, so wow. we're working on that as well. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we've recently had um, a book ad released on YouTube, and I've got a Facebook page. So you know, um, there's ways that people can connect with me and provide feedback when they've read the book. Excellent, excellent. That's, that's really interesting to know that uh, that's actually quite unique as well that you say that you can actually interact with your readers. Uh, I can imagine you're going to yeah, get a lot Yeah, I mean, of a lot of the people, so, um, you know, when the book went live, um, I distributed um, some copies to friends and family and acquaintances. So people that didn't know about the incident, people that knew about the incident, people that were just the neutral reader. And it was just very nice to get a very collective, similar feedback that was very positive and engaging. Mm -hmm. So it is interesting how with, with a certain level of wording, you can attract an audience at the same, you know, kind of um, balance. It doesn't really matter who they are, where they're from. Mm. I think if the message is strong enough, everybody, you know, learns from it in the same path. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's been quite interesting, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, and like I said, to have that kind of uh, interaction, that engagement with your, your um, readers is, is quite important because, you know, once you read a book and you just you kind of just put it down, there's no actually, uh, there's no uh, engagement thereafter. So to have that interaction with people, I think is such a, a nice touch. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we've done to attract the, the wider audience as well is 10 proceeds of the purchase will be going to charity. And this is off the back of um, a certain 
um, concept or, you know, something that I talk about in the book. I don't want to give it away because I do <laughs> want the readers to read um, the book so they can understand where I'm coming from with the charity element. Mm -hmm. um, but this is something that will come off the back of the purchases. And I, and I think it's for a good cause as well because um, everybody who does read the book feeds into the more positive side of what's happened. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and that's really important because it's such a... Um, a challenging time for everyone, and to to have to find some some energy or positivity can be quite difficult, uh, as you know. Um, so I'm really, really feeling um, the 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 energy that you have as a as a writer uh, behind this book and the kind of message that you want to give. Yeah, I mean, there was some. I mean, I I, I received feedback um, last night actually from a reader oh, cool. who I don't know. Um, uh, it was just somebody who the book was passed on to, and when she wrote to me, she said, "Oh God, I feel like I know your uncle," and and I was there when it happened, and yeah. it was just so nice to get that because I think people did feel very touched by the story and what had happened, and mm -hmm. um, so I, I do feel that. A lot of the members of the public that read the book will will react the same way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, inshallah. Inshallah, indeed. Yeah, I'm personally really excited to, to read the book myself. Uh, obviously, it's going to be available. It is available, as you say. So it's going to be on my one of my tick list things to do. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. and it's an easy read. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to put something together that people wouldn't look at and think I'm really busy. I'm never going to get time to do this. It's available on Kindle as well, so mm. you don't have to buy. Um, an actual copy you you can you can just get it on Kindle or online and 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 mm -hmm. view it um yeah so uh the the way that it's written as well it, it's an easy read something that resonates with anyone in the family um even if you want to read it with a group of people or on your own um and again it was designed that way to obviously encourage people to read and and have that time to think about what they've read as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, it's not one of those books that's, you know, like a couple of kgs. It looks great, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we just don't have the time. Yeah, that's so, it. That's uh, it. My, my, my understanding of everyone's life and schedule is I just wanted to make sure they had something that, you know, was pocket size, accessible. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they could read a couple of chapters and go, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. I'm, I'm really gripped to read the next chapter. Yeah. And that is the other feedback that I've received, you know, from, from um, my readers as well is you know, they were so hooked on it that a lot of people managed to get it done within two to three days. They didn't want to wait around. Wow, two, three days. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's really exciting stuff. Um, so I, I can tell you it's really hitting off really well. Um, you're getting really good feedback at the moment. What's, for, what's in the future for you? What, where does the future lie after this? Um, I do want to continue writing. But I think at the moment, I really want to see where this book goes. Um, I, I, I'm hopeful, inshallah, that it's going to go to higher levels. And we are working on a lot of marketing campaigns for it to reach that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I don't want to be one of those authors that just sticks to a certain genre. It might be something different. It might be a children's book or, it, mm. you know, it might be fiction altogether. But I have a couple of things in mind. Good. But this is also balancing it alongside a family and a full-time job. So yes. we'll see where that goes. Let's see. Uh, let's see where that goes. The future is is very bright indeed. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Um, well, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you. I can really sense the energy uh, in this book, Jasmine. And uh, all the best of luck for the future. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens after this. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity um, to speak to everyone. And you know, give my bless to Islam Channel yeah. staff as well. Yeah, we will do indeed. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Okay. Like as salam. You take care. Live <laughs> <laughs>